What's up, guys? It's your boy Pete, and welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now, if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything houseplant related. If that tickles your fancy, hit that subscribe button, sit back, and enjoy the video. Now, guys, on today's video, what I have for you, as you probably can tell by the thumbnail, we are doing the battle of the foliages. Well, foliage. Yeah, that sounds better. <laughs> battle of the foliage. Now, if you're a foliage head, kind of like myself, then you definitely love you some good and i mean some good foliage and this is what this is all about now what i did do um i chose six twelve i think twelve there are twelve plants um six rounds what i did was um i sent out these pictures to five of my friends um one of them has no clue what any of these plants he has no clue like what any of these plants are. So that was hilarious on its own, but they just basically chosen um, which plant that they like the best compared to each other. Now, what I did, this the comparing process was kind of hard for the plants that I did choose because, you know, you don't want to, for instance, you don't want to try to compare foliage with, let's say, now, pansies really don't have foliage, but let's just say a pansy and a Florida beauty, Aurea. You, there's no comparison there on foliage. You get what I'm saying? So it was kind of hard for me to actually pair these here up so that they had some type of chance, um, especially for the um, friends that actually knew exactly what these plants were. And you didn't want to, like I said, compare something that is just like, you know, why? So, yeah, what we're going to do today is go over the foliage. Now, I did choose, again, random plants throughout this here challenge or, yeah, throughout this here challenge. And they're not in any specific order. So, again, you could get, um, for random, a pothos or a pansy, you know, just random things or a cactus or something of that nature. So. What I did or what they did basically was put up a tally per round, which plant they liked the best. And of course, I mashed all the tallies together. And what you're going to see and what we're going to go over is what they came up with and what the results are. Now, I still haven't put my tally in. I'm definitely going to put my tally in. And I can tell you there are a few, um, a few of these rounds that need a tiebreaker, especially from what I'm going to choose. So that is where you guys come in at. Um, I get to that more in the end of the video. Um, but basically what you're going to do is just follow along. You guys down in the comment section below, put what round and what plant you would like. And definitely, hopefully we can break some of these here ties. And I'm pretty sure with the extra votes, it's probably going to, waiver what which um plant wins that round but again what we're going to do is just go over these here plants and i'm pretty sure i'm going to do another one of these because this is fun um but let's go ahead and get started now for the first round you guys it was very well this one was very easy to me um we have a lemon lime maranta and a red vein maranta yeah now the lemon lime maranta got Three votes and, well, no, the Lemon Lime Maranta got two votes and the Red Bane Maranta got three, which is very interesting, but not really because you know me <laughs> and my Lime Greens. And of course, um, you guys are seeing pictures. These are the same pictures that they did see. I tried to get some of the best pictures of the best pictures so that, you know, they got a good grasp, well, especially one, one of my friends got a good grasp <laughs> of what these plants actually are. But yeah, Lemon Lime just did not beat the red vein maranta which i don't i kind of I, okay i can see why it has a little bit more color pattern and then, then but you know i love my lime green and that lemon lime maranta is is up there in the top maranta so my point goes to the lemon lime maranta which of course we have a tie break here so you guys again this is where you come in at go down in the comment section below and help us break this here tie the lemon lime definitely 
should have won, especially in my own personal <laughs> own personal opinion. But you know, what can we do? Whoa, what can we do? So yeah, um as of now we are at a tie three on three lemon lime versus the red Maranta. Now the next one we have here for round two, you guys, we have the variegated burl marks philodendron against the Pictum Tricolor Agolima. Yeah. Very hard. Very, very hard. You have one, which is the philodendron that it has variegation, where they both have some sort of variegation, but this variegation on this burl marks is not consistent. So you can get different, literally different kinds of um, <clears throat> variegation out of that there plant. We're talking, I would say, okay, yeah, let's just say consistent with the pattern of the leaves from the Pictum tricolor. Now for these here, <laughs> um, well, okay, I can understand. You see these here pictures again, I'm trying to get the best specimen there is. And I did specify that all of these here plants definitely get maybe a hundred times bigger, you know, emphasis on the hundred times, but they get a lot bigger than what you're seeing. So just imagine at least a good foot long leaf or a wide leaf of a Pictum tricolor or even some variegated burl marks for that matter. we we'll just, but yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> who won this year round? The Pictum tricolor won this year round guys, three to two, um, Pictum tricolor, of course, three variegated burl marks too. Now with me personally, I would have chosen the variegated burl marks. Of course, another tie. Comment down below, guys. Help us break this tie. But for me, definitely the burl marks because of the, again, variegation pattern is definitely not the same. Um, the only, again, negative, well, setback would be if it starts to shoot out either green leaves, all green leaves, rather. Even though some of the all yellow leaves are not so good, but a few every now and then is not too bad, especially if you have more green than you do the variegated, but definitely variegated burrow marks for me, you guys will be a point for me. So yeah, help us break that down in the comment section below, because I honestly thought this uh, philodendron would have won over the Pictum tricolor, but again, I did give them aspects. Um, bigger the leaf, you know, the better looking the foliage, which I still can understand why, you know, with the, well, I can again with the lemon lime, but yeah, whatever. The next one, you guys, let's move on to. Now, this one here was very interesting. And I mean, very, very interesting. And of, <laughs> and of course, looking at these tallies, there's another tiebreaker. We have the Abo Monstera versus, of course, the tie constellation. Now, Abo won this one three to two. I don't see why. I mean, of course, I do. I do love a... I do love a nice Albo Monstera. Don't get me wrong, but Ty Constellation, you guys know that's like at the, that is negative 100 on my list, my wish list. Like it is, yeah, there's nothing up there that I've seen, I've heard of, unless it's like a, I, I just, nope, I haven't. So yeah, I don't, again, I don't know, I don't know, no. <laughs> I don't see why. It actually won, but again, these are coming from some actually um, plant hobbyists, and then we have one who just ne <laughs> never heard of the plant. So again, it makes it pretty interesting. So I kind of figured um, the elbow would have teetered and tattered with the tie, but I didn't think it would actually win. Because I do have one friend that is on that teeter tater line, and that you know, I would, whatever. But um, yes, my vote, of course, definitely goes to the tie constellation, which, as I said before, is a tie. Let us know down in the comment section below which one you choose for round three. We definitely need to break this here. Um, tie, <laughs> break this here, tie. Yeah. Um, but again, tie constellation should have won. Definitely should have. Definitely should have won. I don't honestly know which one. Okay, even though I think that I think they say now I don't know because I don't have a tie constellation, but I think they say that the Albo Monstera 
grows faster than a tile constellation. I don't know. Don't quote me on it, but the elbows do grow slow. Um, definitely quote me on that. Yeah. But um, yeah, guys, that tile should have won. Yeah, but help us break that down in the comment section below. Now let's hear um next one. Round four. Now round four goes to the Philodendron Pink Princess versus the Ethereum Regal. Hmm. Again, we are talking <laughs> big leaves, massive foliage. Uh, Pink Princess, as you can see. Stunning foliage. We all know that um, they get pretty big, and I mean pretty, pretty big. You know, kind of like any of your other, excuse me, any of your other philodendrons. They get pretty uh, massive in size, especially once they start to climb, get poles and and sunlight, things of that nature. Um, just very, 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 very very good to look at now especially like with this here regal i've never you guys i don't have one i don't have any ethereums i can grow ethereums i've definitely tried to grow ethereums not like the clarinoviums and the um well yes i have i had a vti so yeah i can grow ethereums i just don't have one definitely not paying a million dollars especially for a regal those things all off subject here but yeah <laughs> Uh, as you can see, that is a big um, picture leaf of a Ethereum regal. Yeah. Now, shockingly, shockingly, everyone went for the Pink Princess. Four to one. Pink Princess, four, one for the Ethereum regal, which is kind of strange, but not really. Um, if you can imagine where the one came from. Hmm. So I'm not mad at him because I would have chose the regal as well because I probably don't. Well, I say probably because I don't. I'm going to just say because I don't have one. I have a, a plenty of princesses, pink, pink prince eye, pink. I have a lot of the pink variegated plants, <laughs> um, but I don't have a regal, which I definitely want. That foliage is like, you can just take a bite out of it. It reminds me of a, let's say, melanin chrysum mixed with a varicosum kind of ish sort of if we're talking make i don't know it's like that dark those veins and then the, the, that it makes that dark green just pop i don't know but i definitely would have chose the regal um there's definitely no tie break there <laughs> but you also can comment down below where did we leave yeah so again we're looking at four to one on the regal definitely don't the regal should have won it, it seems like so far, I didn't. <laughs> oh, I'm just making things worse, huh? Yeah. Um, last but not least, you guys, for this here, um, six here, sixth round. This one here was fairly easy. I mean, literally fairly easy. We have the philodendron brandy versus the variegated heart leaf heteracium. Yeah. Now, brandy has one. And the Hateracium has four. Now, my vote goes for the Hateracium, of course, because I don't have one. I have a outstandingly perfect, 98% perfect um, growing philodendron brandy. I mean, she's on a she's on a plank. She's about maybe f going on four feet high, just growing bushel all the way up. It's just pretty. Most of you have seen it. Wonderful. But I don't have that heart leaf. And I've seen some heart variegated heart leaves in some of the other um, content creators collection. Oh, and my, and my, my, my. And then they also have those grow tents. So that definitely helps. Like, um, <clears throat> shout out to Rachel's heart shaped leaf. She had got one, I think, from, I don't know, don't quote me on it, but it was unboxing from one of the um, shops, if I'm not mistaken. Was it? Botanicas? I don't know. Don't quote me on it. Could have been Botanicas. But she got it and I've seen it a few times. She may have mentioned it in a couple more videos. She did it on haul. But all in all, when she did a grow tent toy, that damn thing looked it so good. I could have jumped through the screen and just, just sat there with her while she hollered, like, who is this fool? 
<laughs> and my grow tent. That's how good it really looks. So I would definitely um, choose that there. Heart leaf over the brandy. I won't say any day, but literally any day, at least until I get my hands on one. And, and if that does happen, then it'll probably still <laughs> be the heart leaf philodendron hands down but yeah guys that is it here for the battle of the foliage now the next one that i do have planned um i thought about doing specific um plants it was gonna do, i was gonna do like agalimas versus calatheas and things of that nature but i don't know i might think about doing that one but I do have some more that I want to do, you guys. Um, but as you can see, these are very interesting. Let me know down in the comment section below. Um, how do you feel about some of these? You are hopefully going to break some of these here ties that we have or just add on to the actual numbers that we have as well. And I guess whenever I do the next one, we can close it off and we can definitely break down and see who won the actual round for this here game um all my tools and things that i do use you guys will be down in the description box below i'm not everything yep i was gonna say mention something about um unboxing that i did with another tool I'm not sure if you're going to get it or not before this here video but if not then it's dealing with that so all the tools will be down in the description box below um, I have a second channel as well. Just a lot of short um, films and things that I do around here that I do not post here on the main channel will be over there. Again, just waiting for the numbers to come go up a little bit more. Then I'll definitely start posting. I do have a few over there that I had to actually clear out <laughs> for space. But I have literally tons, tons more things that you guys probably haven't seen since the beginning of the channel. So, yeah, which is very, I cannot wait to show you guys my split finger she showed her ass this this here year i just can't wait but all off that is it here you guys for today's video please do me a favor hit that like button also comment down below again everything you see that i use here will be down in the description box below uh make sure you are subscribed that button should be gray and not red and make sure you hit the notification bell this bell will keep you notified and let you know what's going on over here with planting with pete and I think that is it, guys. We're still trying to get our numbers up. Make sure you share this here video. Pass it on to your friend, your cousin, your nephew, your niece. Talk to it, to your plant. You know, hey. But, um, yeah, that is it. I have a couple of more videos and then a longer video to do. Hopefully, I get through with it. But see you guys on the next one. Bye. That's a wrap, guys. Good job, Pete. See you back here on set tomorrow.